This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says one fifth of the class graduated with an A average, one half had a B average, and the rest of the class had a C average. In a class of 100 students, how many graduated with a C average? So in case it's helpful, let's take a look at this one visually with a pie chart here. Again, according to the problem, one half of the class graduated with a B average, one fifth of the class graduated with an A average, and the rest of the class graduated with a C average. So we have to determine what fraction of the class graduated with a C average, and we know that 100 students graduated in total. So to calculate that fraction, we're going to do this. 1, again, this pie chart represents 1, minus the 1 half of the class that graduated with a B average minus the one fifth of the class that graduated with an A average. By doing this math right here, we'll determine the fraction of the class that graduated with the C average. Of course, in order to subtract fractions, they have to have the same or a common denominator. Uh, what is a common denominator between two and five? Well, that's going to be 10. So uh, let's rewrite all these with a denominator of 10, of course, and that's going to be pretty easy to do. Uh, to write 1 as 10, that's going to be 10 over 10. 10 divided by 10 is 1. To write 2 as 10, we would have to multiply it by 5. We also have to do that to its numerator. Again, 5 over 10 is the same thing as 1 half. To write 5 as 10, we have to multiply it by 2. And we also have to do that to its numerator. 2 over 10 is the same thing as 1 fifth. And now that we have a common denominator, this is all we have to do. Uh, 10 minus 5 minus 2. That's the same thing as 10 minus 7 over 10. 10 minus 7 is 3. So in other words, 3 tenths of this class graduated with the C average. Now to answer this uh, question, what is 3 tenths of the 100 people who graduated this class? Uh, that's going to be 3 tenths times 100, right? 100 as a fraction by placing it over 1. We could cross reduce. 10 goes into 10 one time. 10 goes into 100 10 times. This is 3 over 1, which is just 3. 10 over 1 is 10. 3 times 10 is 30. So in other words, 30 people graduated with a C average.